Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. That you should not give room for any unbeliever within your territory to hold the level of influence that will have to make you bend to God to receive their resources. No, sir. This is a message that the devil has fought for many years. And so many believers, especially we around the northern middle belt and part of the... We, we, we are not kingdom and we are not strategic in our understanding. We are morally sound, bless God. We love the Lord with all our heart, bless God. But we find out that our lives are empty, void of spiritual meaning because we do not know what else to do. So we seek God, we love Him, we become anointed, we even fall under the anointing. But to what end was that anointing given? We don't know. And so we roam around and hope that the mundane things that we spend our lives on will give us meaning nothing else has the ability to give your life meaning than knowing that you are living your life according to purpose and that it is giving joy to the father in a few minutes from now we are going to be celebrating dimensions of the hand of god the miracles of god you know why we are doing this because we know that first we love the people but second it is a testament that's why it matters when unbelievers hear what god is doing when believers hear what god is doing thank god for it but the real impact is that what god is doing gets to the ears of the unbelievers because it will compel them are we together now you are gathered here tonight first because you love God he brought you but quite honestly because you are trusting God for various levels of supernatural solutions people have been here since Monday Tuesday Wednesday families groups ministries people have traveled endured all kinds of things because someone told you or you heard it in a message that if you came here your life and your situation will change did you think they lied sit back and watch what god does with your life in a few minutes from now. So, that when you leave this place and go back as a man of god you will be surprised yourself the next time you see you will not come alone you will be too grateful to come alone when a mother comes here and sees what god does to her she will remember immediately that my stubborn neighbor's son that means they always wanted him change it's just that they had been looking for a place anointed enough to make them let me tell you i still say it again and again i thank god for posters i thank god for handbills please i'm in no way trying to demean them but nothing will cover the publicity that real power and real result creates people are too grateful rumors spread in overnight nobody paid for it and yet it goes round that's the same way the word of the Lord can come upon you ah, I came for koinonia a program called the miracle service I just strolled there 
and my life changed overnight madam the next one is next month i don't have money you, you better look for money and you see people run around and come and receive and so our own assignment is to continue to stay with god to make sure that everybody that comes you take a level of fire that like queen of sheba you say half of this was not told me if we are not doing this this is just jamboree and a ceremony and a sin and wickedness because when people pay so much price and leave wherever they come from to come and sit down and then we entertain and make all kinds of noise and jargons and they go back again with the same pain we've wasted their time and we cause the heart of the father to bleed we make miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a miracle walk a promise keep you won't believe i've not even touched what i wanted to share as the message for tonight God, this year your life will change in the name of jesus christ this year your life will change by the power of the holy spirit it's true let those who laugh at you laugh Ephesians chapter 3 please let me have your attention I want to share with you a powerful revelation that God put in my heart for this meeting and then we will pray mighty God we bless you Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 the Bible says now unto him please look up the Lord has been pounding this scripture in my heart and I need to teach you and show you and make sure that you get it as a revelation now unto him that is able to do everybody say able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think everybody say ask or think one more time say ask or think that means there are two ways listen carefully your petitions and requests get to God number one is through your prayer by verbalizing it number two is through your thinking your paradigm also is a prayer request it sends prayers to heaven the Bible says God will do what you ask or think not ask and think that means when you are not praying and you are thinking you are still praying before God your mouth and your mind are also prayer warriors the only thing is that for many of us our mouths are better prayer warriors than our minds most times our minds pray nonsense and that's why you find out that the things that you desire you may not see the results that are consistent with your desires because there are two prayer warriors in your life one is your mouth let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart both be acceptable that means the words of my mouth can be acceptable but the meditations of my heart can cancel everything he is able to do listen carefully exceeding abundantly far above all i ask far above all i think it matters it matters that the word of god does not just penetrate our spirits alone the word of god must have an effect listen carefully you will never be a world changer you will never be usable in the hand of god until the word of god is able to influence your understanding influence you we're talking about fruitfulness you will never be fruitful this year just because a prophetic word came as powerful as it is you can limit god your mouth may be praying because you are told to pray but your mind continues to make your destiny unfruitful listen very carefully most of the miracles that we need i submit to you most of the miracles that we need 
are in the realm of our understanding and the realm of the mind much more than physical miracles we need a real miracle of a reconstructed understanding to be able to know God's perspectives this is the secret of victory this is how we win in this kingdom that's why the preaching and the teaching of the word is very important because they are the spiritual systems are located for bringing understanding when the word is preached and taught generally it brings you into a comprehension it influences your understanding and when your mind listen when your mind changes then truly your life will change it's true You are not truly free until your mind is free. No matter what else around you is free, if your mind is under captivity, then you are really in bondage. Are we together? Let me show you something. A revelation that God gave me for tonight. Luke chapter 4. We are reading five verses. Luke chapter 4. We we'll start from verse 14. Luke chapter 4. This is Jesus now. Luke chapter 4 and verse 14 after his time of fast and prayer the bible says and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a fame of him through the region round about 15. and he taught in their synagogues you see jesus was a teacher he was a teacher he wanted to give people understanding 90 percent of his ministry was teaching 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 he builds the disciples by teaching the impartations happen few times most of their encounters was the teaching ministry of jesus that's how they became apostles the bible says being glorified of all 16. let me have your attention now and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read he's about to read isaiah 61 now listen and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised just keep 18. see how many times the various issues required preaching there were three main issues in the ministry of jesus that the solution was hidden in preaching not doing preaching number one very quickly that every time you met a poor man the solution lied in doing something to his mind the bible says he had anointed me to preach not just to give to the poor he had anointed me to do something to their minds because the issue whether it is some version say meek it doesn't matter no matter how you see it it still requires preaching so when you see someone in a financial predicament god's recommendation is that that person is not yet free until the word of god is able to do something to his mind otherwise that person will remain in bondage how true bless someone who is poor in his mind a thousand times his mind would turn his life back to look like his mind when it has to do with the poor the secret to really helping them is to camp them under the wisdom of god's word and the bible says to preach the gospel to the poor the next sets of people that require preaching amazing amazing this is where the apostolic and prophetic ministry in many regards has failed woefully the next set of those who require preaching are those who are captive in need of deliverance he didn't say to conduct deliverance he said to preach deliverance that means much more than driving the spirit entity in their lives and around their situations jesus is saying they are not truly free until deliverance is preached to them listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call this deliverance through transformation that your mind is reoriented again to have spiritual understanding that keeps the door closed 
one of the things and and i thank god that this is a ministry that believes in the whole counsel of god shortly we are going to be praying casting out devils and just taking away these influences that stand the way of people but then the bible says that the journey to deliverance will continue being a cycle a helpless cycle to the point that it becomes a mockery until the preaching dimension not the laying hands dimension not the prophecy dimension the preaching dimension there is something that must be captured in your deliverance message that affects the minds not just the spirits and the bodies of men otherwise these spirits will make a mockery of you they will leave the people and return back because their mindsets have become strongholds the spirits have created fortifications around their thinking that will allow the spirit come back again are we together to preach deliverance not just to conduct deliverance i admit to you that it is here that the apostolic and the prophetic ministry in many regards has failed because of the charismatism that is around ministering to people seeing someone fall roll under the anointing you know when that happens it looks like it's an accolade on you as the man of god and so we enjoy it no matter how many times you must go through that rigor i'm satisfied provided it helps in making me shine but the bible is saying by and large the delivery will be tired <laughs> permit me my english that person is not going to except if it's a fresh impartation and the person must know the new grace that is different from last week's falling there's a lot of mess in the body of christ demons continue to make mockery of our ignorance many people are permanent gateways for the entry and the exits of spirits it was jesus himself that carried out the demonology lecture he didn't give anybody he handled that course by himself and this is what he taught us remember when jesus talks you listen he says when a spirit leaves a man that means spirits can leave men we know that apostles and prophets we god has helped us in that area we know how to make spirits leave men but the bible says that spirit will go through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge are we together now and then the bible says not finding a place of refuge here's what the spirit will say remember the person had been delivered now and he's jumping in the church and he's happy hallelujah doors are opening and the spirit is saying i'm coming back the spirit is saying i will go back like the prodigal son the prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. The spirit says, I will arise and go back to my house. He's calling the person who had been delivered my house. That means he's still, he's still laying claims. He comes back according to Jesus and finds the house swept, clean, but empty. Everybody say empty. Say it, empty. There is a law in the spirit that anywhere there is void, anything can fill it. When there was darkness and void the holy spirit came to hover around it swept clean through deliverance by casting out the devil but then empty because the word contents that will fill that person and close the door permanently is not there he has not received the preaching dimension of deliverance to let you know that now that this spirit has left you are we together now to begin to educate you into understanding what christ has done for you and then to help you to be able to stand your ground like paul would teach in the book of ephesians supplying you all the spiritual arsenals that can keep you safe now that you are free it's not there so the spirit will route through anything anger jealousy and gladly stroll back into the person unfortunately jesus said no spirit returns alone it will gather seven others more dangerous than itself and return to the person so that the end of that person is worse than the beginning if you're with me say amen this is why there are many temporal miracles you hear people say i received a miracle a spirit left me and then i started this and then the situation gets compounded and it becomes worse again because the person does not or he has not been educated to see the relevance you see let me tell you this come the moment you cast a spirit out of a person 
or out or around a situation spirits are not only in people spirits are also in situations situations are bodies that spirits can possess are we together now yes so that situation or that body the spirit leaves but the individual listen carefully the individual is here standing and his mindset has not been changed has not been altered the mindset becomes a gateway that spirit enters back and continues to influence the person and when this spirit study the man of god and they know that the man of god may be well-meaning he may be very anointed but his word content is very low they no longer will be afraid even before you cast them they'll just go out and you will think it's a sign that you are getting more anointed it's a sign that they have mastered your ignorance and created a way of insulting you they will freely go and wait immediately after the grace they enter the person and continue to go so you see the labor it looks like this warfare is endless you will continue to cast out demons and demons and demons and demons forever whereas there can be victory established are you with me now that's why you can have a particular dream or series of dreams or all kinds of attacks and then you can have a strong season where there is an emphasis on the ministry or deliverance ministry or something like that and then the demons leave and afterwards the patience and the interest to allow deliverance be taught you is not there and these spirits will return they are stubborn spirits so said jesus they don't live and go away even satan left jesus for a while and came back came back through peter came back through judas until he thought he got jesus are we together the body of christ does not have the patience to allow the word of god let me tell you this if you are not teaching people you have to teach people the value of sitting to receive and to grow in the word the bible says let the word of christ dwell in you in all richness you are a man of god here please listen it is not so much about manifestation and rolling under the anointing and, and all of those kinds of things train your people to sit down and listen to the word of god and then train yourself to make sure you understand what you are teaching so that the people are not listening to what becomes poisonous to them if you're with me say amen when believers were saved in the early church they were not just left to go a few people were left without real spiritual follow-up and you saw what happened to them for instance in acts chapter 19 the bible says paul having passed through the upper coast he came and he found certain disciples supposedly and then he asked them a question he said have you received the holy ghost since he believed and they said we've not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and then he said unto what baptism then were you baptized and they said unto the baptism of john and jesus corrected them and said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance so that you will believe on who that will come and then they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus and paul laying his hands upon them the bible says they were filled with the holy spirit and began to pray in tongues and they prophesied they were 12 in number all of them that was a new level for them when you just back down a little you read from chapter 18 the last six verses the bible talks about a man called apollos a great man he was an eloquent man fervent in spirit mighty in scripture the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john and then one day he came for a meeting and then aquila and priscilla met him and then they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly and then he become more useful to the body because he now began to argue based on the new light that he had you must pray and cast away ignorance the worst oppression is not demonic oppression that the spirit influences you is that when the spirit saps your desire for the word so that you do not have time and especially for women of god it's possible to be reading the bible just because of the pressure i've been ministering right from saturday back to back every day up until yesterday dash in here to come tomorrow and back again to finish the conference you can imagine over 18 sermons within one week so it's easy i can be up and doing just studying the bible as though i have an interest 
but it may be that it's just for the formality of finding a salmon and these spirits watch out for these kinds of things are we together you prevail as a believer when your understanding is altered by the word of god it gives you an appreciation for excellence it gives you an appreciation for diligence it gives you an appreciation for knowledge it gives you an appreciation for value you see the all surpassing excellency of god's power it will make you need the holy spirit in your life it will damage ignorance from your life and strengthen you to be effective and remember the more your spiritual capacity is the more god can flow through you and from you to others this is how to disciple nations are we together this night so give us Luke chapter 4 again let me finish up and then we'll pray mighty god so the poor need the gospel preached those in need of deliverance much more than the casting of the devil they need to understand the message that the bible calls preaching deliverance and then number three look up please to preach again the acceptable year of the lord king james says the acceptable year of the lord i think it's a new living translation that says to preach the year of the lord's favor the word acceptable year there doesn't just mean the day god has agreed uh -uh. it was a direct translation but it is the lord's favor to preach the lord's favor so those in need of favor is more than just laying on of hands it's more than just prophecy receive favor there is an a spiritual education a spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor is one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited that favor just happens when god wants to favor you but it's not true it's not true my brothers let me tell you this it is not true favor is merited there is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited but when you truly know what favor is and how it works you know that it is merited merited there does not mean everything even your obedience is done by the grace of god supplied you don't have the power to walk in it favor is not unmerited don't insult any man of god and don't look down any man of god you hear teaching and saying is unmerited that's not what i'm teaching you you may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing but then i can tell you this if you are under this leadership and you want results in your life understand that favor is merited i've taught you this that favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to right proverbs 13 and verse 15 good understanding give it or bring it forth favor and it says the way of the transgressor is hard good understanding is like a woman proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 good understanding is like a pregnant woman she can give birth to a child and the bible names that child favor transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child and the name of the child is hardship hardship is predictable there is there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name unfortunately it's life that names it hardship that's the name of your child favor that's the name of your child so when you tell people favor is unmerited they just sit down and say okay so what do i do and then they just sit down and say okay god just favor me and nothing will happen most people have not tasted what the bible calls favor i've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough favor is only favor if it is repeated if it happens just once in a while or once in a long while that's breakthrough that's not favor it's true are we together so when you need favor jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the lord ah, 
I know there's more that's found in you. Be careful. Be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge. And don't be ashamed to open yourself for change. Many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth, we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be. I have absolute disloyalty for error. I'm not ashamed when I find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction. Just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life, the moment you find the truth, you see your loyalty, you feel like you are betraying your convictions. And we will never settle for less. I know there's more that's found in you. I will never yell. We'll never sell for less. We know. We know. This world is hell. Sing it one more time. And we will never say. We'll never sell for less. We know. There's more that's found in you. The same way many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you it may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time you see that by very well-meaning men and women of god from a very sincere heart that's why knowing god is powerful you need flexibility to know god because you will know things about him that will it will be like deliverance from a cult now how do i come out of this knowing that all my life this is what i believed in i shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman fine smart man of god who for a long time held the view that look it was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and i remember when he came to see me in my room then as soon as I saw him, I saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him. And then I was, I was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him, my brother, you may need prayer. No, 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 no. I don't need anything. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm this. I said, I understand. I'm not about to argue with you, but please, this is what. I'm. No, 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 no. This person came for counseling. Something is obviously wrong with his life. And now I'm seeing that this is what is wrong. And the gentleman will just not agree. And then I pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him. And this guy would get up like 15 minutes later, shouting and manifesting and talking on all kinds of things and then when I was done he got up I didn't look down on him I politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his Bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now I believe this I believe that do you cry when you buy a better phone do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone? Don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new, but truth it is. Just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience. That's why you must have meekness and flexibility. The goal is not to create argument and to, no, 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 no. If I find out that what I believe now is wrong, I will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is. And in all honesty, come and tell you I apologize. I've seen better now. I will not be ashamed to say it. But my brothers and my sisters, let me tell you, God has granted us the grace to prove some things. And these things we teach are not suggestions. Are we together? Yes. Favor will not come upon you just because you want it. The gospel must be preached. You must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor. And then when the teaching comes, there is an empowerment. It's usually light and grace. Light, grace, light, grace. Full of grace and truth. 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 That's how it works. 
when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm 20 now i'm 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you i told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god i went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by god's grace i tell you this i'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me i say it with all humility and so i read lots of books that propose so many things and i walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of god they would oppress me i would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like it's happening to many of you i will round up the fast as i'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again i said what i mean what is this is that, will it be honest that i don't have faith eventually i found out what was wrong and god helped me in that area and that's why i continue to trust god to help people in these areas may god may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. not just to say what you know this is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. because the end of all argument truly is results consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained are we together and tonight the lord wants to visit us like benga shared is a buffet a buffet of fat things he has set the table before us for yours it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting god for but there is a level of favor listen god has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness genesis 17 and verse 6 and i will make you exceeding fruitful he says and nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the when the jealousy of god zooms on you you become a fearful wonder even to yourself it's true it's true you stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say god what are you doing it's not unmerited it is empowered but not unmerited there is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it and tonight i believe that in the name of jesus christ within the few minutes we have a very quick work to do tonight there are many of us seated here the truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life and it does not matter trust god that they will leave you 
there are others your miracle service began while i was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I will come to you. I will come to you. You get up in the morning, Lord, thank you. And there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits. And I'm not just talking finance. Finance is not the only expression of favor. It's a needed one, but not the only expression of favor. When God lifts men to make your life easy, you are trusting God for a new dimension in the spirit. Someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor Let me sing this song again before we pray. Don't join me, listen. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Favor found in Him. New levels of grace found in Him. That you step into a meeting as a man of God and you know that principalities and powers yokes thrones dominions are about to be subdued it's not a suggestion you are not guessing you are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate god's word upon your life a dear man of god i met you know while i was ministering great wonderful man just yesterday i met with him and he said apostle after a meeting and he said sir i've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months i'm a man of god and i've been praying and i laughed because when something is within your power you see that within your power given to you by grace the same way a little child comes to say please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power there are some things after tonight it will be within your power it's soon within your power to speak and change things within your power and i told him i said let's pray i said this night you will have the answer and by evening he calls me and says apostle i almost cannot believe this even as a man of god that i was sitting down and this is the name this is that and i told him congratulations and he said what is this and i told him that this is called the power of god the power of god is a force it produces changes the same way you are sitting quietly now your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within few minutes my brothers and my sisters I, I I never I never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in a twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in in a moment and you're waiting for days in zaria will be worth it completely just like that please believe this if a worker in this ministry believe it 
don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive and you sit down and say wow i know no let's not cheat ourselves let's be sincere god is able to do let me tell you it is within his power to surprise you tonight not just to give you miracles to surprise you it is within his power to begin to alter systems and structures this night not tomorrow this night this night the bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of god given to you when you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied it's called pride elijah said let him come naman elisha so that he will know not that there is a god in israel that there is a prophet in israel you would call that pride but the result showed it the same way you are a man of god now and in a few minutes if you are a man of god and you came here i want you to just get ready because what will come on your life it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you you will walk in strange levels of glory this is by the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying now we're about to pray blessed be the name of the lord results are not acts of pride and arrogance they are acts of the grace and the mercy of god activated through knowledge so god takes you to a new dimension we're going to do a very we will trust god for a very quick walk i took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle the performance all of that is it, just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word but what you are hearing now is it this alteration that is happening not just to your spirit but to your mind find out how many impartation services jesus conducted you will be surprised there were few times one of which he breathed upon them received the holy ghost but most times he camped with them for 40 days all he was doing was to teach but do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power the power of god flows through his word so when the word of god is coming now you are immersed in his glory you see that and the spirit entered me not just when he laid hands on me when he spake unto me i've taught you how the word of god works that the word of god is like a tree is carrying something you don't receive it just for the word's sake you receive it for what is on it if if i'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice you bring it on a tray is that true the first thing i receive is the tray i receive the tray with joy not because i need the tray i need the rice the word of god is a conveyor of the possibilities of god so when the word of god comes to you you are happy because of what is in it and on it he sent forth his word he sent forth his word his word of deliverance his word of of healing his word of lifting have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born he says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son that means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over your phone can beep and you will see something that will keep you on your knees and say lord you just answered my prayer of five years in one day how shall these things be that's the voice of unbelief we're talking god here we're not talking a man god no wonder they said lord i believe but if what i call faith is nonsense help thou my own belief i need help and jesus helped him Men of God, let's trust God for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter, spiritually, financially, in grace, in influence. The path of the just shines, shines. Don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance. When people are ignorant, they rub their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of God as though you are sinning. So if you open up yourself to be blessed financially, they, they give a body language that suggests that you too, you are joining them in this thing. Receive the whole counsel of God. It is beneficial for all of God to be seen in your life. You embrace the power of God and hate his resources. The pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life. 
I receive the whole counsel of God. I receive the whole counsel. If there is wealth, I receive it. If there is wisdom, I receive it. If there is grace, I receive it. Everything that is on this table, sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything. Little of what? Everything. And we will never see. Now you join me. We know there's more that's found in you. Sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god you're trusting god for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting god for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe him you're trusting god for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it you're trusting god for a change of results lord thank you i have evidences in my life but i need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify the supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray. Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be a session of prophetic deliverance. I'll tell you what that means. I'll pray for people, I'll minister. But there are times that I'll just speak the word, the case, and then God will deal with that. Number two, I, I, if we have the time, the Lord may speak to one or two people. And then number three, we'll take time and minister the healing power of God to the sick. It's very important and then number four we'll have the time to pray on our requests and then i prophesy and speak over everyone and that will be it for the night the, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that i say this to you especially for those of you who are coming for the first time so that your heart can be open it's going to be a flow all through and i want you to participate with your heart let your heart be open by the way you can stand in for your loved ones and then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world there's no distance truly in the spirit you can receive you can believe and then god can make this true in your life hallelujah praise the lord there is a grace that i found myself releasing upon the body of christ in this season and that's what we're going to start with the lord i don't know god has been doing something in my life since january this year started is the grace for speed 
this is what i want to release upon our lives all through my meetings in lagos for every meeting the lord has instructed me to release that grace listen no matter how many times you've heard me pray it i like for your heart to be open there is real speed that can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like elijah are we together now i want to i, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three i release that anointing in all the overflows right now one my god two three receive that grace right now receive that anointing everywhere inside and outside i release that grace that grace for speed life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of ahab in the name of jesus christ i release speed speed inside outside i release speed people are receiving that grace strange speed speed in ministry speed in your career receive it god is releasing it upon you no more delays no more delays by the spirit of the living god no more delays online offline localized here i stretch my hands and i prophesy that grace right now people will begin to run by the spirit i'm seeing it in the spirit and energizing of the spirit is coming on men and women speed speed i prophesy speed 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 outside overflow one overflow two overflow three by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace i crush delay i crush delay i crush delay I cross delay, I cross stagnation, remaining in one position. I judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace. But now over families, not just individuals, you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation. I stretch my hands right now. At the count of three, may God use you as a point of contact to supply speed to your family members. Are you ready? One, two, three, receive that grace. Families, families, speed, speed to the north, speed to the south, speed to the east, speed to the west. In the name of Jesus, speed to the middle belt. I release you, I release you, I release you. Kabakato shalikata. Enteleketos kaparakato shekete. Embreketeketeketekete. Speed. In the name of Jesus, I cause every power. I cause every force. By this grace and by this unction, I release speed. The Lord is showing me a purple robe. I'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and I'm seeing it come on people. Not everybody, but there are specific people. And I believe purple in, in, in scripture is symbolic of royalty. It is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people. Lord, I don't know where these people are. They came for miracle service, but I stretch my hands. May the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension. 
the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Men robed in royalty, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, beauty for ashes. For ashes, beauty for ashes. Pay attention to what God is doing. Beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord, and I'm seeing people, the right legs, being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and i'm seeing on it reproach that's what the lord is seeing reproach and the lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach it may not be for everybody but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god that everything that represents a reproach in your life tonight here and now i release by the supply of the spirit the grace and i cause that reproach now I cross that reproach now. I cross that reproach now. I cross that reproach now. My God, I cross that reproach now. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I cross that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ, businessman, I cross that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical I'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now I'm seeing the Lord is leading me to stand here just this room and I'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke of barrenness. I stretch my hand. Whether it is for you or your family members, I'm just doing what the Lord is asking me to do. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. That if there is anyone within this row, among those standing, that is suffering any kind of barrenness, I come against it right now. I declare become a joyful mother of children, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to do something serious here. Now, this is an apostolic ministry and we are word-based. So whatever it is you do not understand, you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the Lord. Um, what, what God, I hope that you don't find it offensive. God is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people. This is an instruction that's why i'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me you will be surprised to see what happens i will not ordinarily do that no we we represent we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing but we are in a season of fruitfulness and god is giving me an instruction so i'm just going to do exactly what god is asking me to do just to be able to hold something and release that grace and that you have the grace to receive you'll be surprised to see what happens father i've obeyed you in charge like foolishness I stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction Lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of Jesus Christ 
I place a grace upon your life. You may look weak, but in the name of Jesus, let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shabaka to Zekete Neka Barakatosh, Embregete Tekete Kosanyasa, Mantesko Barakatosh Kenekata. In the name of Jesus, I provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies. Don't say you don't need it. 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 In the name of Jesus, let it give you rest to serve the Lord. Let it give you the fortitude to stop begging in the name of Jesus. And it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will never And we, I'm still praying that are people entering realms right now in the spirit, entering financial dimensions. It is first spiritual before physical. Listen to me, it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Let your faith come alive. There are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. Please, don't come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure. Please, please. I'm praying from my heart. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever. Are we together? Let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters. When God begins to speak over your life in an area, it's because he has seen what is going to befall men. And like an ark, he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety. Many people in this year will languish financially. I'm telling you this. Listen, there will be a lot of cries. That's why God is releasing this grace. There will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack please again i plead with you i plead with you in the name of jesus do not be under any pressure listen they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money i'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so i'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so we are committed to helping you experience god we're not playing games with anyone's destiny but i'm saying it again that there are people entering strange realms this is more than a miracle alert this is not miracle alert this is a realm it's a it's a dimension in the spirit and in the name of jesus i stand by this anointing again and i shift you step in step in step in step in step into this realm of surprise step into this realm of grace for your family for your family for your destiny step into this realm of grace it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found me it's in you lord it's in you lord I know there's more that's found me And we will never say We'll never settle for less We know there's more that's found in you Hallelujah I'm seeing a woman outside The Lord is showing me a woman outside The power of God is coming upon that woman right now outside. I'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows. Her name is not given to me. But I'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing. A very strong anointing will come upon that woman. And the Lord is telling me that he's bringing upon people the spirit of revelation. Is, is a dimension of grace I want to pray that prayer right now father in the name of Jesus Christ 
I don't know who they are, I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. I'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people. I release that grace right now. Help them, please. I release that grace right now. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God. Turn it is born. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God. Turn it is born. Something is coming on you. But I can't do Come, oh God, heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the sea. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your But I can't go my I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of jesus i release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones i don't care where the job must come from but i decree and i prophesy these jobs come to you speedily in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Listen. My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now, I release that grace. The healing anointing. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it for ministry. Receive it for ministry. The healing anointing. Outside overflow one. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. anointing receive it you need it in the name of jesus so you can take the healing power of jesus to the nation in the name of jesus christ you are carrying that grace bodily you are carrying that grace Evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people, you bring them out now. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Lift your hands. We are going to pray. We are going to read these spirits there are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah. 
I'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up I'm going to count three listen for those people please I want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please I want you to believe it at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of Jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place I decree and I prophesy that at the count of three as you shout Jesus may the fire of God bring a separation between you and those influences one get ready two three shout Jesus come out of them now I cast every devil in the name of Jesus and they shall cast out devils I command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances I command in the name of Jesus that they come out of their hiding place in the name of Jesus bring them out spirits of ancestry territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position that refuse to let them rise I come against you in the name of Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a sword and I know that sword is the word of God I cast by that sword let there be a separation that every force tying anyone's destiny you're going to shout Jesus again at the count of three be ye lifted all ye ancient gods one two three let them go in the name of Jesus release their destinies you are the covenant keeping God Hallelujah. These hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit, many of you will feel physical fire on your hands. There will be a strange deliverance. That's why anything you do does not work. No matter if it's a business, it will fail. If it's a relationship, it will fail. Anything you lay your hands, there is a spirit that steals your joy. But right now, I challenge and I attack that spirit. Let the fire of God, right now at the count of three, separate you from that influence. One, two, three. Let them go now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Cover us with your wings Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory The yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, I break it now. The yoke of bad luck, receive, I'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck. I break you free 
from the yoke of Bangkok in the name of Jesus. Bad luck. It works well for others until you come. And then something strange just happens. All those under the anointing here, I arrest this spirit and at the count of three, every devil you will patch your load and every trouble you have brought to these destinies and go. I speak as one sent by the anointing. At the count of three, leave one, two, three, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so glad to pray for the sick. Nata ukaka sunanka, upaindi chika isaya. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. I hear a name Janet. Janet. There's, there's no time we have Janet please don't enjoy anybody are you Janet stand up I had the name Janet please don't tell lies don't embarrass yourself if you are not Janet go back Janet where are you from In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I will pray for you. Huh? Look at me. Look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor in the name of Jesus I decree and I prophesy by the spirit over you 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 All of you standing here for time's sake I'm going to pray for you one of you um, the power of God is going to come on one of you the moment that happens I'll pray for everybody I'm seeing one person one of you the Lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person not only is God bringing personal spiritual revival to you God is opening doors of opportunity Lord where is that one person I decree and declare when that one person is identified and then I just pray for all of you in general I'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are and the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter and just around that vicinity of the media I stretch my hands may the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus like a mighty rushing wind rest upon the individuals within that vicinity in the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare. 
whoever that one person is may that anointing and that grace come upon you you will never 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 be the same the power of god will come upon that one person the moment that happens then i'll pray for everybody it's just the instruction god is giving me in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands towards all of you by faith and in the spirit i declare for whatever reason it is that god brought you out here i declare i place the word of god upon your situation and in the name of jesus i declare that you return with testimonies in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady wearing dark come god bless you you can go back to your seat all of you hold my hands hold it with both of your hands where are you coming from asaba. from asaba yes, the lord is saying i should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory Amen. Oh, this will be the beginning of your days of glory step into it by the spirit in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same we raise your banner we shine your light so ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are in the name of jesus may the fire of the holy spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online let there be complete emancipation for such people in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear this lady wearing pink lift your hands Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I'm seeing the Lord take something out of your body. We're about to pray for the sick. But the Lord is taking something out of your body. That's why I told you to shout that name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, our time is gone we are going to be very very fast are we together um if you are trusting god listen carefully whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three if what you have please listen if what you have is a terminal disease a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence are we together like a death sentence you know what i mean i don't have to mention names please whether you're in overflow one two three be fair be honest i will want to minister by myself to you now number two those in here you can come out and you're trusting god for healing for you or for your loved ones overflow one please to your projector stand overflow two same thing to your projector stand overflow three to your projector stand so if you do not belong to this category that i particularly requested to come please god is here make sure you are sincere make sure you are honest i like all of you to come stand i'm about to minister and there will be men and women of god scattered across those by the roadside i don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of god ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah 
praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening usher's pr department please join them uh, and then if, if, if there's a need for that maybe the protocol department can help let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately we'll be very fast please um dear people of god let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um finish up on time blessed be the name of the lord for those of you standing here i want you to believe there is a god in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i will just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly those online connect by faith stretch your hands here and let's pray father we decree and we declare we just have a minute for this in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands and prophesy Libras Kadabrando Shari Katosia Brada. The same way we are standing on this request in the name of Jesus. This is establishing your dominion above every challenge, above every situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Rado Zakando Shalakos Kadabrehe Seneko Shalabras. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, every impossible situation here, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. We turn it around, believe, believe, believe. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. This is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us. A representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have, we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this. And I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness, that this that you have dropped here before the Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you have brought it before him, it will never, if it's a tragic situation, it will never return to you again. And if it is a request that must appear in your life then i decree and declare i don't know how it will happen like the prophet said you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water i prophesy i decree and declare in the name that is above all names by the god of all grace your answer will find its way to your life even if it means happening through your enemy or happening through a man that has vowed not to help you, may my God make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, that you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, even before this month is over, in the name of Jesus, you will tick your list one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. In the name of Jesus, we decree it so by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree it so by the blood of the Lamb. We decree it so.
by the word of God we establish it it is done in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you now this will be um, the first time we're doing this in a miracle service for the year why do I round up the services with a prophetic word because I believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of God comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word people's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again let me tell you do you know that I listen to the miracle service messages myself and I receive all the prayers from the man of God just because I'm the vessel being used by God does not exempt me from receiving too. I listen to the messages and God is my witness. I follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely. Are we together now? So believe this and you will see it work in your life. It is only what you believe that will work. Are we together? Favor like never before. In the name of Jesus beginning from this night may he follow you like a shadow follows a man i say it again favor like never before from tonight may he follow you in the name of jesus christ strange favor strange favor activating possibilities in your life strange favor in the name of jesus christ number two i decree and i declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every overdue issue in your life, an issue that has stayed long, beyond necessary, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life. May my God, the God of all grace, establish and settle you in every area. In the name of Jesus Christ, Every long-standing issue comes to an end now. Everything that misrepresents you before your helpers, the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you, there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you, something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gainsay nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom receive this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of jesus christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of God will be evident on your life I stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry let there be a baptism of that anointing now for every leader here let there be a baptism of that anointing now everyone due for promotion your place of work or your standing in for your your loved ones i decree and declare we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of jesus christ the spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year you will die during election you will die during this and that a crisis will happen and you'll be a victim of this i silence the voice of that spirit now i 
I decree and declare, whether by road, whether by air, whether through the operation of the wickedness in men, remain ever exempted from death. In the name of Jesus, may you be too late for tragedy. If it will cause shame, you will not be found there. If it will cause pain, you will not be found there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that whatever it is you're involved with, whether it's your career, the works of your hands, your business, whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence, to bless people and to empower you. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. Some of you at the beginning of the year, your prayer life is already down. It's too early. Your word life already down. No appetite to study scripture. No appetite to pray. Whether you sleep by 8 o'clock or by 10, you will still wake up by 8 the next day. This one is a spirit. It's no longer tiredness. Anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by Satan. God gives his beloved sleep. It is true. But slumber is of the devil. There is a difference between slumber and sleep. One of the differences is control. There are some of us, even if you sleep by two in the afternoon, you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up. It's a spirit. I curse it from your life. Now. You will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to say this they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and zechariah the son of edo i decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow in the name of jesus christ no one connected to this grace, no one connected to this vision goes down financially. And I pray for you, those of us who have little groups, ministries, fellowships that were helping and building other believers. And for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level. Nothing new, nothing fresh, I decree after this miracle service step into a new order of spiritual operation whatever needs to be restored in your life before february restoration restoration to bring back i command it to your life now in the name of jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of god may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord that I have not mentioned here, but is a desperate desire in your heart, I release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me. In the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your testimony. Two more prayer points. May the spiritual fire on your altar, the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we find your coals back to flames
whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you apostle you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one apostle in the last one month my life has gone haywire finance went down and everything went down the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again it's not an encouragement it's a warning it's a precaution no matter what happens guard certain things including your joy because joy is responsible for strength joy is responsible for harvest two things you need in your life when you lose harvest you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest you are finished so we continue to embrace a negative disposition and let me tell you this every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life you will find it at whatever level even if you don't find it the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you it is true that you can cry it is true that you can be in pain it's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain but it's a choice you are going to have to choose that i guard the boundaries of my mind please never forget this teaching that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached not conducted to preach deliverance to the captives do something to their belief systems so i've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system a thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem complaining a mindset murmuring a mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this there are people that can stand god can do 30 things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle I have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated God's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we won't it won't it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here 
and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together Someone once told me and said, Apostle, you love yourself. I said, what's the meaning of that? <laughs> because I love myself. Why will I want somebody to love what I hate? Are we together? You hate yourself and you want someone to love you? That's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself, writing a letter, write no letter to nobody. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of this life and things up you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be matired or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together yes this is an admonishment we're going to pray this night is a very serious night so many of us continue to partner with demons Remember, I taught you what um, Apostle Paul said. He said, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Are we together? And that they will give heed to seducing spirits. Not just demonic spirits, seducing spirits. And I've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to. If you are not hungry, the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the seduction so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming it to put hagar close by so that you now bring ishmael who will fight with isaac and punish the nations seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons are we together yes you must make up your mind that this life of refusing this life of seeing negative things let me tell you this world is whatever you say it is there are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram wickedness selfishness and they are right and it will become because whatever adam called it that was the name thereof are we together yes you call yourself things god did not call and there are people this world no matter how negative it is they choose to see what god is doing they choose to see the god that lifts they choose to see a destiny that is bright they choose to see a life that insists until god is glorified it will always be unto you according to your faith hallelujah most bitterness that happens in our world are as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves and they are not satisfied being miserable alone they will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable with all that is happening in the world god is still on his throne and there is joy unspeakable in heaven full of glory jesus only wept on earth he would not cry again there is no reason for him to cry again Are we together so you must make up your mind we are going to pray shortly people will be healed be delivered god is going to be lifting people but let me tell you these experiences will never last in fact for some it will never happen until you trust god today and say this negative sadist devilish antichrist kind of partnership that i continue to provide with challenges in my life there are people who look wrinkled you almost think they are 50 until they tell you i'm just 27 you say it's a lie are you sick no but i said the way the world is who is fine don't talk like that please take seriously what i tell you your victory is not only tied to christ alone 
is tied to your understanding your mind is very creative but it's also obedient in my world i see victory i really do i really do in my world i see the life and the power of god in my world i see christ glorified in my world i see lives being changed in my world i see the the powers of darkness continually dislodged in my life i see longevity listen very carefully in my life i see prosperity in my life i see an opportunity to serve the purposes of god with my life forever in my life i see continuous triumph i have taken out time by the word of god and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind are we together in my mind i see power and anointing someone someone once asked me and said apostle is it that god tells you he's going to move in a meeting what gives you confidence and i said god me and history <laughs> history history is the basis for mastery i don't try to have faith in god when he will move we've left that level i know i trust him it's a realm of koinonia oneness certainty certainty let me show you something Luke chapter 1 please give it to us Luke chapter 1 we'll read the first three or four verses look up please for as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured believe are most surely believed among us verse 2 even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses listen and ministers of the word verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables the goal of writing this to you is that i was an eyewitness to these things and i want to write to you so that i solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received this is dr luke writing to theophilus and telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty of these things when you say god lifts and god can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding It's very important you you know this are you getting what i'm saying the certainty of those things so you must work on your mind philippians chapter 2 same philippians notice that paul paul seemed to draw it in this church in philippi this issue of mindset chapter 2 and verse 5 he now encourages the saints let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind 
the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind Bartimaeus said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for betting the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence 
Lord, it is not your will for this family to be in poverty, begging from hand to mouth, anointed but begging, anointed but begging, anointed but begging. Every good thing that happens in the family, you receive it with fear because you know it will not last. And you are right, it will not last because it was only received momentarily. It was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it. Whatever your mind holds is yours forever. Truly, whatever your mind holds is yours. If your mind holds trouble, it's truly yours. If your mind holds victory, it is yours. Are we together? So you must insist this night. There are all kinds of things God wants to do. Listen, let me tell you this very quickly. In a miracle service, God does many things. A miracle service is not just a healing service. A miracle service is a service that allows for the power of God to birth and sustain supernatural solutions. Everybody say supernatural solutions. Solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men. It truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking, can God change my life in one day? Can God change my life in two days? Can God turn my family before November? God? Are we together? Are you guys done? Have you fixed it? It's not working. Okay, so please... Let's work on it as fast as we can. Make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live. As at the time you are speaking, there's no food even at home now to eat. Don't worry. Stand in faith. Don't fake anything. There's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real. You've heard me say. There is no point faking anointing. There is no point faking power in ministry. You can stand and say, Lord, as it is right now, my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is. But Lord, let something from heaven come upon my church. And I stand in faith and I believe with you. Everybody you pray for is not healed. Everybody you speak over is not changed, but no problem. You stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future. Everybody looks like the past. Stand in faith. I refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaf and two fish you have to give god something the five loaf will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious I live in the consciousness of the jealousy of God over my life. It's true. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's not just scripture to me. It is life. It is God revealing his intent to me. This ministry will never go down. It will continue to be from glory to glory. It's true. No, 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 no. I'm being as honest and modest with you as, as possible. 
because retrogression has an explanation you can explain why things deplete you can explain why things retrogress and you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens hallelujah you are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laashiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you do, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family That is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell the fcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together 
to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and God can lead you to an uncommon mentorship, an uncommon anointing. In six months, you will receive a grace that is 15 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay, I hope you know, from Abraham. It was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected Esau's. It only played out using women. But it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results 
every man that God truly calls and every ministry that God truly ordains, there are underlying spiritual covenants. The platform upon which God put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this, I will make happen. It's true. Also, be conscious of the graces. You see that? The graces that are available within that territory. You cannot receive a man's covenant. You can only partake of it. But you can receive graces. You are a pastor. You come and your church is grounded. You only have 50 members during your annual Thanksgiving. Thank God for that. But something is wrong. God is a God of increase. You can come with hearts open to receive the grace. How about hardship? Things not working well. How about your spiritual growth? You are at the same level for five years. The knowledge of scripture, zero. Health of your prayer life, zero. You are a man of God and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of God that you have. It will frustrate you eventually. But there are graces. Every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace. When that grace comes upon your life, your result shows. Thou anointest my head with oil. The result shows through my cup. He does not anoint your cup. He anoints your head. Your cup proves what is on your head. Are we together now? So this is very important. Thank you. And you have to understand the way this works. We are going to pray shortly. And I need you to know how this works. I want you to receive. Be conscious of the graces. Not, some of you may not, need, may not need a miracle. Like miracle from sickness or whatever. But understand that when you come. It's like an exchange of graces. Listen. The Bible says. Give us please. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. Please give it to us quickly. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Praise the Lord. Read with me, please, Koinonia. Ready? One to read. Stop. 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 God is able to make all grace. Let me explain that to you. Please, all of you, come. Stand anywhere you want to stand. Just stand anywhere. Scatter yourself around. Don't come close to me. Just stand. Watch this. Call these guys graces. The grace for prosperity. The grace for favor. The grace for speed. The grace for spiritual fire. The grace for influence. Watch this. Access to the hearts of men. This is you. This is your destiny. And the Bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor, wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, eat the bread of sorrow, mix it with hard work and eventually prosper. But as far as spiritual fire is concerned, the grace that plants in a man, the hunger and the passion for the things of God is not in him. So that grace is not there. He has some, but not all. And the part, the grace dimension he does not have, the deficiency of it will show in his life. He is getting richer, but not as his soul prospers. This is the grace he needs. When you pray and intercede for this man now, God will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of God that has this dimension. So that in addition it will be added to him. Are we together now? Now listen very carefully please. Look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too 
because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation To know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me 
if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break take it to Sheila Qatar restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, shamana katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick and powerful. I declare again, any family here, any individual under the yoke of delay, I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you will find people running by the spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family. That dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year. I declare right now, let it come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Speed. Parush Kabarakata.
speed career speed i give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed Hello, Gim Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy, please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please i'm looking at the lord in the spirit i'm putting my hand inside a river and i'm bringing something out and the lord says it's the destiny of this family in the name of jesus that's the daughter i command by the spirit every planting that is not of the lord i overturn and i uproot now in the name of jesus christ Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name, Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? UK. From where? UK. I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I counsel CS by the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is breached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying is this you were backing this baby when i mentioned your case yes. huh? yes, were you backing a baby yes, that's why i'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person i want to pray for bring this little baby god is i don't know whose child is this your child but god this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god she looks like a little girl in the name of jesus what's her name Nicole, she may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. 
Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus' name, there is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you. Parus kamana hashileketa. In the name of Jesus, by the God of heaven, I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know 
the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do madam, what do you do I'm a commissioner for human rights commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi yes. in in two weeks I'm going to be in your nation I would like to see you Amen. your nation there is a reason why I'm talking I'm not seeing you alone I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for yes. but I want to pray for you madam because I don't know if you believe it or not you have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in Kenya and God by his spirit is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life you are a woman that love God there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build I'm seeing foodstuff and I'm seeing different things first it will have to do with young girls people who have been abused and so on but I see not only that I see women too women God is going to increase your influence I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the spirit carry this grace go to Kenya with it go and excel I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go with this anointing go and prosper may the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise the Lord an angel of the Lord is standing here someone will shout here under a strong anointing I just saw that grace I don't know first I think until the shout happens I know why God just from here right to the back there is an anointing I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here now listen whether you know it or not if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ is about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it. And they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three be free now be free now be free now please bring them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online i declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results many people cannot get results 
for right now that door is about to open and I stand by the God of heaven by the fire of the Holy Ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now 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 be open now, be open now. Sila Katiash, 
mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the spirit Hali Shalatos Pragados Krekete Baratushla I shift you in the spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ madam God is turning your life around where are you coming from Kaduna State in the name of Jesus break now in the name of Jesus be free now from everything that is not of God be free now something is breaking here something is breaking here something is breaking here Parusha Likatos I break it now I break it now I break it now I break it now by the spirit of the living God I break it now Mama I break it now I break it now somebody I'm sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now Overflow one, lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Harusa Sigadesh. Now listen, please be your brother's keeper. You don't have to touch me. Please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself. But as I pass here, anything that is not of God is about to give way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. All that I come against you now. In Pashata Patatata. Rekete kete kete. Embrekete te. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete. Be free now. Be free now. Right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life in the 
name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry. It's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from, are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku, A-L something K-U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Right here, there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone i stretch my hands lord i don't know where they are Paruska Badu let that grace come on you now strange mantle prayer fire word fire illumination in the spirit receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming to people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimension, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be completely free and I speak to him, Ibrahim. May the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that, we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request. Where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her? There's a young lady that was wearing glasses. I don't, if, if you are here, you are the one. What do you do? You are going to be very wealthy. Come. Are you a lawyer? Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, mother? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. It's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man. There are people who are out to genuinely bless. Yes, sir. And I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. she will find these people. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, she will shift her to another dimension. Amen. Mama, God is saying I should tell you, forgive. Does it make sense to you? Yes, my husband also is a lawyer. But... Your husband is a lawyer? Yes, but... What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your... It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles. Because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive. Forgiveness. Now, it doesn't make sense. And God has not given me an interpretation. But let me tell you this. You see, look up. The average person seated here has been hurt by someone. Whether friends, are we together? Uncles, relatives, people you trusted and they betrayed you. Let me tell you something about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a terrible spirit. It's one of the master secrets to delay. Unforgiveness. It will keep you in one place forever. You are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this 
forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano how about yes, you Calabar. mfm calabar how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that there are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i i'm going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a quiet bomb state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes sir huh? you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god this brother you see is very serious with god huh very serious with god you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh Anthony. tony in the name of jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader dr daniel Odikoya, and i decree in the name of jesus be free now i decree by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh. I'm not saying I'm not on employment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? 
Kaduna State Civil Service. The Lord says, I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. Prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. It's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Amen. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone in the name of Jesus become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace in the name of Jesus. I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing, you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face. This is what I'm seeing. But that one is not bride of wedding. This is evil. Covering your entire, a human being with almost no head. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should pray that that veil be torn. I don't know who that person is, but right now the power of God is going, there, there, there are many of you I perceive in the name of Jesus, that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I declare that veil torn into pieces now, torn into pieces now, inside, outside, online, Turn into pieces now. The last case I attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing. Many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person 
this is what I'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things I'm not saying to run consciously I'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of God order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you my soul longs and even thirst for you my heart and my flesh cries out for the living God for the living God incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face and burning longing for I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit i shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down i take authority over it in the name of jesus go forward now i release your families to go forward now in the name of jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we are going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you are yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online i believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we're done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person 
um, at the aisle where it can be picked. Give them room to write. If you need a piece of paper, you can help your friend or wave your hand. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three. Since there will be several people there, overflow three. They'll be ministering to overflow three. Benga will go to overflow one. Promise overflow one, two. Um, Kenny overflow two. Two A now. Uh, two A or two B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow two B. Praise the Lord. Ima overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. Where overflow four? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and i want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has promised has promised okay pastor alpha oh uh who is in overflow one only you two of you okay pastor alpha join them in overflow three pastor femi uh-huh he pastor femi should go to did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2. 2B. Two okay, with, with Ima now. 2B or 4. You are in 2. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4. Overflow 4. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing. The worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. If they are still praying for you, where, wherever, whatever, overflow, don't worry. Just, just hang on there. Please stretch your hands to this request as we pray. 
I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the Spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are here to submit I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today I see no more forever Lord turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus release miracles release solutions break yokes oh God Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings. Reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. Shabarato Sedepa and Telekoto Shabra Shibrakatosh Caprenis Shabaruta Sedekatabalash in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Louder, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight we come to you. The God that can answer prayers. And Lord, I decree, standing in the presence of your people, thousands of people have submitted their requests, a representation of their expectations, their pain, their disappointments, their anticipations. Lord, I decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two i declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the god of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now father answer speedily Lord, answer speedily. Amen. Turn situations around. Amen. Every death sentence represented in this request, we declare that death sentence is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, Father, we give you praise because we declare by faith, the very faith of the Son of God, that these requests are met in Jesus' name. Amen. As I stand upon these requests, I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt no going back in the name of Jesus between now and the next three weeks may the God of heaven in the name of Jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks
and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic word over everyone here please i like you to be sensitive don't be careless about it hallelujah please they can come and pick it i believe in the power of prophecy the spoken word is also creative it can make things happen it not only reveals what will happen it makes things that has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare over you please hear me by the god of heaven every door that has been closed over your destiny i stand here as the servant of the living god i force that door to open now everyone trusting god for a job a meaningful job not a nonsense job that does not have honor i pray now a job that will not take your relationship away from god a job that will not make you compromise receive that job in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life the kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season i speak over you receive fresh fire access to revelation access to light receive it in jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of god to come to pass i command them to appear now i preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of jesus i open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and i declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth i compel remembrance now i compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the lord i cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of jesus i cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life i speak to you by the spirit step into it let me pray for favor i will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames
in the name of Jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life I declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me I speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I speak to you by the God of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of Jesus by the God who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life I pray the prayer that Jabez cried unto God for the Bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren I pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this is prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come 
represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture says you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you all of you in concert I want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her and um, they will direct you to a few people to just follow you or praise the Lord dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him. 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.